Shalom, beloved. It's a word. Time to put away childish things. You know, we go through growth patterns. And a lot of us, it's very easy when we understand a physical growth, mental growth. But we also go through a spiritual growth. We get to a point that some of the things that worked so well for us when we were young are adverse on us when we get older. One of the things that I learned was um, sugar, white sugar. I eat white sugar or put it in coffee and tea since I could remember. But all of a sudden, as I started growing and changing, and I'm talking about maturing, my stomach started swelling up and I couldn't figure out for the life of me what was going on. And no matter what I did, it would not decrease. And I remember the spirit was like, Vada, what are you eating? Look at what you're eating. So I started eliminating things to try to see if it was having an effect on me. And then I thought about the sugar and I said, you know what? I'm going to stop putting that sugar in there. And sure enough, instead of using sugar, I, was use, I started using honey and my stomach just shrunk. It instantly went back to normal. Well, just like we go through physical growth, where when we come out of infancy, milk isn't enough to sustain us. And we get to a point that we need more solid food. And then as we grow older still and we get teeth on us, we need meat. We need more uh, solid food, so to speak. I mean, truly solid food. Mentally, we go through the same thing. Once we get to a point that we are no longer in elementary school, we got to take it up a little higher or we start stagnating. The same thing that was good for us starts having a negative effect on us. It is no longer prosperous for us. OK, certain things that we did when we were children. We could eat sugar, we could eat certain foods and our bodies, because we were energetic running around, we could process it in and process it out, even if it wasn't good. A lot of us talked about having stomachs like iron. Then all of a sudden, as so many birthdays passed us by, certain foods would not work in our system. They would not work. They could literally, literally have us running to the bathroom. And we started recognizing this thing that I used to love, this thing that I used to eat with ease. Suddenly now, even though it tastes good going in, it's having one heck of an effect coming out or the, what it produces in me is a negative effect. Okay. Some of us may have grown up listening to certain people, listening to certain types of music, watching certain types of shows, and they have a mental effect on us, how we act, how we view the world, how we see ourselves, how we talk. And then we get to a point of growth. We just don't like it anymore. It's distasteful to us. We may go to amusement parks and then suddenly get to an adulthood where, and I was one of them people, I don't like rides that make me feel like my life's in jeopardy. It's a turnoff. It was a thrill as a kid, but as an adult, I just, it was no thrill for me to wonder whether this thing will whip me out of the car. I, I, I like two feet, 10 toes down, planted on the ground. No, I don't want to be on a roller coaster ride that I'm not sure I'm going to make it off of this thing. It, I, we outgrow things. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became an adult, I put away childish things. Well, we understand it on a physical level that we outgrow clothes, we outgrow levels in our lives, we outgrow milk, and we outgrow baby food, and we outgrow certain things that we used to do. It doesn't fit us anymore. Mentally, we need more stimulation. Mentally, we recognize we need to be in this class and not that class. And as we grow, 
in order not to become stagnant, we have to keep going forward. We have to recognize those things that don't serve us anymore. And we go through a pruning in our lives. But you see, there is also a spiritual aspect to it as well. There are certain people, there are certain atmospheres, there are certain attitudes, there are certain situations that have a negative effect. Although one time in our lives, it may have been positive, it may have been tolerable, we may have had a different energy, we may have been at a different growth in our lives. And some of us, some of the reasons that we are experiencing adverse conditions is because we have outgrown certain things. When Yeshua HaMashiach, the word says, we go from victory to victory. We don't stagnate at one victory. We are in a growth, spiritual growth process. We can be in an atmosphere that literally is stunting our growth. We can be around people that are stunting our growth. And it doesn't make them bad and you good. Time's up. It's time to move on up. It's time to take on more. Maybe the person that you're around, they leveled off. They don't want to do anymore. They don't want to see anymore. They don't want to learn anymore. They still talk in the same conversation that they were talking 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Maybe somebody, they have stagnated in their understanding of what happiness is, what success is. Um, It may be a family situation or uh, an occupational situation or a neighborhood situation where it's like, I've just outgrown this. and But for the other person, they like staying in that space. They don't want to change. They don't want to even add to it. They want to see you a certain way because it makes them feel good. If I can put you down, if I can lie on you, if I can keep you running, if I can keep you on your toes. But as we get older and we start getting that discernment and we recognize I've outgrown this, where they're still at this stage, you know, there are some people who, just like in regular school, they have taken in and ingested so much of that grades uh, curriculum that they get skipped. They can do that grades and the grades in front of them to the point they just skip them, okay? But you got other students in that same circumstance. They barely holding on in the grade they in. We are not meant to stay to accommodate somebody else. In order to go from victory to victory and glory to glory, it's time to glow up, to grow up, and to move on. If we grow physically, and if we grow mentally, we also grow spiritually. And that growth isn't just quoting the word. That growth is those revelations, those understandings, those recognitions that, okay, I can deal with you in this section of my life, but I can't have you in my complete life anymore because it's stagnating. You want to deal with me only as who I used to be in your eyes, not who I am, who I've grown to be, okay? When I was a child, you know, I've known people in my own family, a couple males, that some people go through this, uh, what do you call that? Um, some people, uh, midlife crisis. Now, I know the palms say it happens at 30. I've never in my life at 30 years old, <laughs> looked at a midlife crisis like, oh my God, I'm getting old. All I thought was it's time to really get serious. You know, you can't keep playing around. But midlife crises, some people go through a crisis, you know, and we have them at different ages and stages. And really, the crisis is a growth spurt, a time to prune off old attitudes, a time to put away things that it may work, have worked for you in your 30s or your 40s, but it's not holding in your 50s and 60s. And there's nothing wrong with you. It's a growth. It's a transition. It's that glory to glory and victory to victory. But if you try to judge it from a time that's past, and what do I mean? 
if you try to judge something, weigh it from the scale of um, a stage in your life that you've already mastered, that you move beyond, you can't recognize where you're at if you're trying to hold on to where you've been. And that's not talking about abandoning. That's talking about appreciating and being humble enough and thankful enough for what you used to do and have. But it's embracing the fact that I'm going into another state. And yeah, he's never going to leave you stagnant just because you got so many birthdays or just because you're retiring or just because the kids moved out or whatever growth you are having. But you have to recognize that something you may have done when you were younger and done with ease does not work for you as you mature. It can actually have an adverse effect because everything you could do with it then doesn't work for you now. Some people can eat and eat and eat, never gain a pound. But some of us, as we get older, our taste buds change. It's showing you because we're tripart people, okay, your taste buds change. I used to eat certain foods, love them, got older and just don't want them, don't want them. Used to eat red meat, don't like red meat. I'm not trying to be, a, oh no, I won't touch red meat because I'll taste it here and there, some lamb. But I just don't like it. It doesn't sit well with me, okay? But when I was younger, you could bring it on. What, 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 salt and pepper, please back up. You got some hot sauce, I'm ready. Okay, when I was a child, I spake as a child. The things I asked for, the things I did, the things I said, the way I thought, not only the things I put out, but the things I took in. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. Okay. But when I became an adult, I had to put it away. I had to put it away. We outgrow things. So in putting certain things away, understand there is always an addition, an abundance when you're talking about Yah. His word is pregnant. His abundant blessings and his revelations and the things he'll expose us to, the people, the places and stages in our lives. But there's a pruning that has to go to occur. It And if you don't prune away those dead things, those negative, some people, their, their way of dealing with you is just so negatively affecting. Oh, you don't want to talk to me anymore. No, it's just, I'll grow it. I just outgrew it. And if the person doesn't want to grow with you, okay, look, see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, may the Lord God bless you, but I got to go. Okay, certain foods. Your body can be going through changes. Some people, as we get older, you send your body in the tailspin because you're determined to keep eating things, drinking things that you know you should. And that victory to victory, there's a victory in recognizing. I've jumped that hurdle, okay? I've changed. It's the same way with consuming things spiritually. Spiritually, what we consume spiritually, Spiritually, some people's conversations and attitudes spiritually are like eating death. They, they want to just bring chaos. They'll come in like everything is all good. They're like the serpent in your God. Okay, everything is cool. But in the end, they're trying to eat, get you to eat that fruit that's going to take you down that road. You should never trip. You have to. Remember, when you were a child, you speak as a child. You understood as a child. If this person did not grow, that is no fault of your own. But in order to move from victory to victory, you've got victory over ignorance. You've got victory over ailments. You've got victory over your appetite. I don't want all of this negative anymore. If I can help it, I'm filtering it out. I'm filtering it out. And bringing in that spiritual word, bringing in positive people. I'd rather there's no people around me for a time than negative people or people that don't mean me any good. But if and when I have to deal with you, I'll deal with you like an adult. But there's a pruning that comes. And so 
I'm saying all of this to say some of us have to understand just like we outgrow things as a child, just like we need things to grow for our body to grow into our adulthood, that we can't eat like we're a baby. We can't eat like we're a toddler. We can't even eat like we did as a so-called teenager because it'll send our system into a tailspin. We cannot consume every mental thing that's around us because some of it doesn't have positive growth for us. And we gain discernment and it's like, no, I'm not dealing with that. I will deal with this. Spiritually, it's the same way. Certain people, certain attitudes, certain intentions. Certain people think, I've had people tell me, speak, speak. Because they know, I know the word of Yah. They think they can command it, never understanding that what comes from me comes from Yahuwah. This isn't something on command. But again, glory to glory, victory to victory. They are in a state that they want to negate and deride something they have no understanding about. And the part they do understand, again, because they see the physical and they don't want to recognize the spiritual and because they think they know you from a time long ago, but they want to bring it into the current. Why? Because they're still in their childhood. They may be experiencing, uh, uh, what's that thing called I was talking about? Um, some people, when they get older, um, they try to reach back into their youth instead of recognizing the beauty of growing up, of growing older, of maturing. Okay. But when I was a child, when I was a child physically, when I was a child mentally, when I was a child spiritually, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, physically, mentally, spiritually, but when I became an adult, I put it away. I put it away. You do not have to accommodate everybody. You do not have to accommodate everything because some things you have outgrown them and your body will reject certain foods and have you run into the bathroom your mind will reject certain negative images, the murder, the the the, the gossip. I just don't want it. it. It's dead words. Your spirit will reject certain spirits because the spirit knows that spirit is not here to help me grow or to recognize the state of men. They don't even want to grow themselves. So, as you move from victory to victory and glory to glory, understand that's part of the growth. And unlike the world that thinks as we mature that, well, this world does not honor those who have grown in age and experience. Yah does. He honors the elders. And the elders must honor themselves by recognizing we are tripart people. So if you've been doing something that worked for you once and you're wondering, well, what's wrong? It may not be working for you anymore. You may have outgrown it. Spiritually, Yah is taking you up a little higher. He's showing you there is another way. Beloved, it is a word. I was thinking about things I outgrew and the spirit was showing me just like you outgrow things physically. But there's an addition now because in order for you to expand, you have to remove one thing to bring in others. You can outgrow things mentally and you outgrow things spiritually where you keep moving up. It is word, beloved. Shalom.